Hello, everybody. All right. So closing remarks, and then you all get to go for game night. Our mission is to create a more inclusive information security industry. And we're a diversity-driven conference committed to helping all underrepresented people in information security. We're not-for-profit and 100% unpaid volunteers. Everybody that helped you out today, everybody that's been working on this all year leading up to this is doing it in addition to school, in addition to their day job, and we have the same jobs you do. We're interested in cybersecurity. We have about 27 staff that are currently working the virtual event. We also had IoT Village and Just Hacking Games helping out to run some of our villages. We had 30 volunteers helping out for virtual, doing 71 different volunteer shifts. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Without them, none of this would be possible. There is all sorts of things that go on behind the scenes, whether it's securing the licenses for bots on a Discord server, or buying a StreamYard license, or getting t-shirts for the speakers. There's a million little details that go in, and a lot of them put in time, money, and promotion to help all of us get here and enjoy this. So speaking of villages, we had the Career Village. They had one panel with 41 views, one talk, and they did about 24 resume reviews and three impromptu audio sessions, which are always uh, popular. We also had a CTF. The winners are going to get Pentester Lab passes. I will be contacting them probably tomorrow. I need a nap after this. But who are the winners? Well, there were 55 players and 36 teams. And our top three people were, were Clarts, Purple, and I'm just going to go with Roxy. And I'm kind of confused by the birds are real. I want to see these birds. But anyway, thank you to everybody who played. It looks like everyone had a bunch of fun. We also had the IoT, hands-on lab. There was 144 lab sessions. That's about 73% of the people who were actively participating in Discord dropped by and tried out a lab. So it looks like y'all enjoyed that. If you want some more of it and you're coming to DEF CON, you should definitely check it out because they've got two new labs. We also had the Maker Village. There was circuits, soldering demos, easy ADA, and I believe there were flying things and magnets. Like I kept popping in there and it was chaos. Everyone looked like they were having fun, learning stuff, learning how to use tools differently, which isn't that the whole point of hacking anyway? By the numbers, there was about 168 active attendees in Discord. YouTube, we had 428 unique morning views, 116 unique evening views. I could not figure out how to get the count on Twitch or LinkedIn, so we're just going to ignore those. We had 11 speakers <laughs> with four villages and one lock picking workshop. Code of Conduct team had to mute somebody, warn somebody, and uh, delete one statement. So overall, I think that was a pretty good success. If you would kindly take the time to give constructive feedback to any of the speakers, as somebody who has been a speaker at events before, knowing what I could improve on, what was unclear, is beneficial. So if you can take that couple of minutes to just hit the feedback survey button, uh, I'm sure they and we would appreciate that because we also have a event feedback. So everyone who is registered will get this through Eventbrite and uh, we'll also post it out on social media. So let us know what was good, what was bad, you know, what ideas do you have? We learned that right now is kind of rough and you need to connect with your own humanity and align what you do with your own ethics and values. And that the freedom for all of us is where we're gonna find the freedom for each one of us. We're all interconnected, whether we wanna be or not. And there's always been times where bad things happen. And although there are heroic moments, 
it, the tide is not changed by that one heroic moment. It's many people acting when the situation calls for them to do so. And it's going to be in day-to-day -day life. It's not going to be a moment that comes with like a tag in a video game that says, this is the moment, now you need to act. And so how do we show up for others? We have to be caring and help people get the care they need. And we have to be compassionate and loving. And in order to do that, we learned today about threat modeling our own mental health. What steps can we take to protect our own well being so that we're in a position that we can extend that same help to others? We learned that you can set achievable goals and work toward them just like you would train for a 10K. And that can apply to learning new skills in information security. It could learn, you know, a new language, whatever it is that you want to achieve, you now have the framework for that. We boosted our skills in Android application pen testing, OSINT, cyber threat intelligence, and also hunting down small pumas, Bluetooth low energy hacking with Monster in the middle, and utilizing servant leadership to build a diverse and inclusive workplace. Because you can have all the DEI initiatives you want. If you're not walking the talk, then it's not going to work long term. And we learned about negotiating and understanding your value. And of course, kicking your imposter syndrome to the curb. So our theme for the entire day was to take the initiative. And uh, it's a little tough to do that this year. Uh, this is my representation of this year. Our logo represents that we can be for fiercely protective of one another, and that we're stronger together. And in the year of the tiger, let's go rawr and take it on as much as we can, slowly, together as a pack. Our discussions were on the ways that we could take that and move forward with it, not only in our professional life, but in our personal life. And there's a lot of things that need uh, something taken on this year. And technology is not neutral, it's political. So think about the ways that we use technology, the ways technology is used by us, around us, against us. And when you're designing your products or testing your products, think about all of those edge cases. So on a happier note, I would love everyone to swing by the social channel we have a bunch of Discord channels set up for free games that we found online that were fun. If you think we should make additional channels, let us know. We hope everybody enjoys doing the networking, making some new friends. And everyone who has a ticket to this event, you're already covered for the 10th and 11th. And 10th and 11th, the talks and the CTF will be available online as well as in person for anyone who can't make it out or doesn't want to make it out to Vegas. And if you will be in Vegas, we look forward to seeing you. Make sure you're vac vaccinated and masked. And I tried to squish them together. Maybe that needs to be a word now. And then you'll be able to enjoy the event. Thank you very much.